Well, everyone, welcome back to Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth Endgame. We are really at the tail end of the game now. We are in Chapter 13, and we are about to advance the story and see what happens. Remember, we're, we're right on the tail of uh, someone who ran away from us at the end of the last video. But let's see if we find out where he went. He's hiding here. Mm -hmm. World number three, this is it, all right. The Bada family's been gone a long time. Doubt that there's much left of their office inside. Yo. What about other tenants? Or neighbors? Might be some other old-timers like Adachi who still remember them. Mm -hmm. If we're lucky. Um, excuse me. I couldn't help but overhear you all a moment ago. Mm -hmm. Keep moving, Gramps. We're busy. Wow. Sorry, it's just been a long time since anyone mentioned the Tabata family around here. How old are they Wait, do you know them? The Tabata family? So. It went under decades past, but... Yes, I worked in this area back when they were controlling it. <laughs> huh. That didn't take long. No kidding. So, are the four of you looking for them? Not them exactly. They're Matriarch, so to speak. Yui Tabata, do you know her? Matriarch Tabata? Goodness, that's another name I haven't heard in ages. Awesome. Uh, come on, give us the info. Hmm. He was practically a local celebrity. Story goes, some young gun actually killed the Patriarch to win her love. <laughs> what a poor young idiot he must have been. Wow. He could, no one could have caged that canary. That's what led to the family's collapse, in fact. <sighs> it's too bad. They were so good for business back in the day. Sup. So, uh, where's Matriarch Tabata now? Oh, I have no way of knowing that. Last I heard, the boy who shot her husband fled overseas, and that was all. <clears throat> although, although, I do sometimes see a former Tabata member around. You could ask him. Hmm? A Tabata man? Where is he? Hmm. My best guess is that pachinko parlor on Nakamichi Street. I hear he lives for that stuff. What's he look like? Hmm. Well, he's likely past his 60s by now, but still trots around in that old gangster top. Even has some dimwit lackeys. Not hard to miss. <sighs> I guess that'll have to do. We better find this guy before Yamai's trail gets colder. Let's move. Okay. Him. Thanks for the help, friend. Uh, one thing. Hmm? Hey. I wouldn't hold on to old stories like that for so long. Time has a way of wearing down the truth in them. There you go. What a weird fellow. Okay. So we're going across town. No, we're going about a block away. Not a big deal. Nakamichi. Oh, Nakamichi. I must beseech you. Yo, I think I found something. What, this? An incendiary grenade that we're never going to use, or this? A torrenter that we will use. <laughs> or this. Oh, what the hell? There's a golden there's a freaking golden chest right here. Should I open it? Alright, let's see what it is. Got it. Curse substitute. Doesn't that prevent death? I think that's an item that if you equip it, it actually prevents a death. I'm almost positive that's what that does. Jimmy. Jimmy. What is it, South Park? Jimmy. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. <laughs> Sounded like you said Timmy. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. This is the pachinko parlor that he meant. Let's see. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. What's up, Samuel? Good evening. Dark Gaming says Chapter 14 is two endgames in one, so set your expectations accordingly. Another bullshit slump. 60s, gangster top, dim with flunkies. I think we might have bingo. Looks like that to me. Sup? Hey, excuse me. You have a second? Paul? By any chance, were you ever with the Tabata family? Old man on Pink Street said, um... Mm -hmm. Old man? Uh, I know who you mean. So, what's it to you? It's a long story, but right now it's pretty important that we find Yui Tabata-san and your old matriarch. <gasps> the matriarch? What the hell's this about? Sorry. I'm sorry, but there really is no time to explain. If you've got any idea where she is, could you please tell us? Uh -huh. Don't treat me like some bum. You want information but can't say why? Kasuga, I get the feeling this guy's brick walling us. Shit. It's Yut Yutako? Yamai, he's back in Japan. Ooh. What? Yamai? And we think that he has unfinished business with her. We're trying to find him, and the best way to do that is to reach Yui-san. What are you all... Yamai's new crew? In so many words. And he's really back in town, huh? Yeah. 
see. Never thought I'd ever have to think about that piece of shit again. Ooh. Hey, bring the car around. We gotta get to Masada Hospital. The mine's a fucking dead man. <clears throat> what? No, wait. Oh, I've been waiting a long, long time, trust me. What's up? Leave your mind to us. We're trying to get him to turn himself in. I'm sorry, but owe him, I owe, we owe him that. Huh. Yeah, I mean... Shit, what am I doing? <laughs> Why do I keep sticking up for Yamai? Because he's the only reason that we got Akane-san and Lonnie back to Japan safely. Come on. I got no idea who these people are, but not only did Yamai kill my boss, he sent our whole family under. <laughs> Look at me. My life went straight into the gutter because of that prick. He doesn't deserve a goddamn scrap of mercy. Huh? Oh, please. It's been 30 years. If you seriously blame Yamai for all your failures since then, then that's just pathetic. Even without a family, you can still make a life for yourself. Uh -huh. What? <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, she knows what she's talking about. Ooh. That's it. It's been too long since I beat down some smart mouth punks. Let's get them. All right, we got our first fight of the night All right, against go. Brawlers. I got caught up in my own wire here, so hold on a second. Okay. Uh, see, she doesn't really have that many good attacks yet. She will, I feel. But nothing too good yet. Uh, yeah, man. I guess I'll do Bubble Bill since that's going to be the best attack for this situation. Looks like I turned her into the Eris. And now she's not using any Eris abilities because they're all too low level. Guard break. Hangman twist. Good night. <laughs> Get alive. Me too. Let's Shit. Ah, screwing it all up. Gotta get into the flow of things. Oh, I need to break his grapple now. That'll be what? Uh, here you go. Breaking top. The giant swing. Toss him into others. That's cool. Nice combo. Very nice. Take him out. Breaking it, breaking it, breaking it. Very nice. <laughs> Double level up. Well, 46 and 45. Very nice. Okay. Damn it! If I were 30 years younger. Yo. We're both wasting each other's time, so I'll only ask once. Yui Tabata-san is at Masada Hospital. Is that what I heard you say? Uh. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I have my headphones plugged to the wrong thing. In this game, I actually get surround sound because it's on Xbox. Not that I would ever utilize it in this game. You probably wouldn't even hear it, but okay. Appreciate it. Now, be smart and don't turn this into another grudge that you keep for a lifetime. Click the pachinko. I... I hear ya. Masada Hospital, then? Yeah. Best way there is to flag a cab. Alright. Flag a cab, he said. So we have to go to a cab, which would be... Oh, they're forcing me to take that cab? Can I just take any cab? I guess it doesn't really matter. Did I just run the wrong way? I did. Wait a minute, there's a boss I can insta-kill? I wonder if I'll get a good item for it. Well, I guess you can't insta-kill a boss, but... Still, like, I'll still be able to kick their ass. Maybe I'll get an item for it that I can use. There we go. Got him. I think that's the boss right there. This freaking Elvis look like dude. Well, these guys are gonna look at me, right? Yep. So I can't get a back attack. The twister. Fix the hair. 
Let's it's good to have you here tonight, Jade. Sorry, guys, that I'm not talking that much. Obviously, I'm focusing on the gameplay right now. Because I am uh, trying to get advancement, and we're right now kind of stuck in this... Uh... Hey, you know what? Let's do a tag team. I might kill them both. Almost! As you know, guys, I'll talk with you more once we get to the point where I can. You know, right now we're in the midst of a lot of development here. I got a motivational headband. She learned violino. Ad oh my god, I can't even say that. Adagissimo. <laughs> I'm even stronger now. And he learned battery storm. Adagissimo. What the hell is this item that I got? Oh, I already had one. Nullify sleep. It's lame. Oh. <laughs> I thought, oh, it's a boss. Even if it's lower level, I might get something good for it. Like, nope. It's a crappy item. All right, let's get to this uh, this taxi cab and continue on here. Uh, I don't remember what level Kiryu's team is, but they're much lower than this because this team we've been using, you know, for at least the whole stream. We're going to switch back soon. I get the feeling. Uh, how am I tonight? I'm good, Jade. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting into the end game of this. I want to get to the final area and uh, and go from there and figure out, you know, what we're going to do. If we're going to do grinding, if we're going to do side content, whatever we're going to do before we adjourn the playthrough uh, this week coming up. So, Ah, well, right to the cutscene. Sad. It's been a long time, Matriarch. Who's there? She blind? She's blind. Can't even see anymore. Wow. You're mine. Yo. Took you a while. Yui Tabata. That's her? You're mine. What did you come here for? If you knew I'd be here. You obviously did your research, no? Revenge? On an old lady in the hospital? Even for you, that's some selfish shit. You fell in love with her and killed her husband over it. I'd say you got your revenge a long time ago. <clears throat> You're right. I've got no excuses. Aw, oh, come on. Look me in my face. You gonna let me get away with that? You know something? You're a hard man to please, Tomizawa-kun. Alzheimer's disease. Woman's only 57. Wow. That's too old to be called early onset. But still too young. She doesn't even know who I am. It's so <sighs> sad. 30 years ago, she had everything a woman could want. She'd go on million yen shopping sprees. Order champagne towers every night. We would bleed and kill to make that money. But she tossed it away like paper. And I loved her for it. I shouldn't have. But I just fell further and further. Seems uncharacteristic for you tolerating all that. Maybe it's the uncharacteristic things about us make us human boss was willing to look past all her faults except 
having another man in the picture. And of all the men she could have, she chose his captain. The boss was always going to find out. That's when she finally noticed this big dumb lummox. She could tell at a glance I was crazy about her. She caught me alone. She whispered to me, If the boss ever finds out about me and him, I'm dead. You have to kill him for me. Kids are stupid. Growing up is learning that jobs like that have no happy endings. <laughs> but you did it anyway. I thought it was my only chance. I remember saying, anything for you. Who was that 20-year-old boy who used to think like that? The matriarch had a plan for it all. That night, I'd accompany her to the boss's office so she could talk to him. She would tell him about the captain. He would hit her. And I would kill him to save her from his rage. And she'd protect me from the police and the family. A good deal. So we went through with it. The moment she saw he was done breathing, she ripped her clothes and ran. Yamai killed the boss and came after me, she said. What the hell? She set you up? Sounds like it. Picture perfect frame job. Wow. I have to hand it to her. The best Yakuza couldn't have done it better. <clears throat> Had to go on the run after that. I only got to see her one more time. The dirt had just settled on the boss's tomb, but she and that captain were living happy and openly. Hi. You know, I think that was the moment I started getting shivers. My blood's run cold ever since. Made up my mind to flee the country then. I wanted to forget it all. That's really how it happened. You hmm. call whether or not you believe me. <laughs> if it all went down like you said, why were you just staring at her when we came? If you wanted revenge, we'd have been too late to stop you. I thought that's what I was coming here for. And then I saw her. Is it already time for breakfast? <laughs> now, there's nothing romantic left to this. My whole life, she was always far beyond my reach. Hmm? <sighs> okay. Story time's over. I can imagine we've got somewhere to be. Afraid that's true. We've been here too long, listening to all this. <laughs> Turns out I was right about you. Huh? Like it or not, you are the type to carry the load for someone. Oh, do you ever shut up? I can't get over this. Never thought I'd hear you say so much about yourself. <laughs> Me neither. Maybe after all this time, I had to let it out. Just to you guys. Well, from now on, when someone asks me, like, who's the, your favorite character in Like a Dragon Infinite Weld, I think I'm going to say it's Yamai. He has the most character development of any character in this game, if you really think about it. He goes from being a cold-hearted Yakuza at the beginning to someone who Tomi absolutely hates because of the way he treats him to someone who's completely personalized and by the end of the game, he's completely flipped his character, right? A good story arc. Wow. Right. Let's not keep the detective waiting. I'm heading back. Pardon? Could you turn the heat up in here? Uh-huh. I'm very cold. <sighs> that feels good. Thank you so much. Simpin' ain't easy, man. He's a simp to this day, 30 years later. Wow. What a sucker. <laughs> he just told his story. 
Oh, he was a sucker, and he's still a sucker. He's still helping her. Yikes. You all right? Some people never change, man. Yeah. I was too warm anyway. Right, he was too warm. Right. Yeah, you must think he's so slick. Well, I think he's slick. <sighs> yeah. Will we ever see Yamai again? Perhaps in a future installment. I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think he's out of the story now. I thought he was going to be a party member by the end. I totally thought like he was going to become a good guy and te team up with you at the end of the game. But he did, but he just never was a controllable party member. I could totally see him coming into the story in like Yakuza 9. Well, excuse me. Like a Dragon 9? Wait. I have no idea what they'll call the next one. I'm so confused myself. That's chapter 13, guys. Here we go. The final chapter. Finale. If I can dream. Bleach Japan. In an unprecedented move, the next Like a Dragon game will have all its chapters named after Cisco songs. So chapter one, the thong song. <laughs> Can't say I'm used to that yet. Same for me. Oh, boy. That chapter two, Unleash the Dragon. Still, to see the Seiryu clan so openly transition to a non-profit and even be welcomed by the public? Well, I've never seen a chairman do that before. Please, I'm just thinking of the future. Nonsense. This was by no means an easy feat, you know. Here, here. For years. Anti-gang laws had given us a choice of two options. Stay small or go underground. And now we're basically endorsed by the country. Finally, there's another way out. The Yakuza have been aiding this country for decades. Ever since all that chaos snaked its way in after the war. This is the evolution of that. Better yet, I'd say it's exactly how things should be. Absolutely. It might even help the world to see the truth, that the Yakuza are still needed. A necessary evil, if you will. Yeah. We'll take our rightful place at the heart of it all. Secure our legacy for years to come. <laughs> the future of the Yakuza is looking real bright. Something's about to happen, isn't Hell, it? Like, they're all about to it's die. Brighter than ever before. It totally feels like that. Like, someone's going to run yes, in with a Tommy gun and just go... I need you all to be at your absolute best. I'm counting on you. Now then, let's call it a day. Thank you, everyone. Maybe not. I thought I told you to cut that out. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Anyway, thanks again. Narasaki, a moment if you would. Sir? I wanted to discuss some personnel changes. Uh oh, you've been demoted to janitor. Go scrub the toilets with your beard. <laughs> you got the chin for it, nice and big. Get all those edges. Oh, well, that's a personnel change. What did I just say? Didn't it seem like Honestly, this was gonna happen? I'm ashamed. Only Yakuza filth would resort to a cheap tactic like this. Wow. Still, you want to let your hate run wild? Well. A knife in the back's just the thing. Minimal effort. Maximum suffering. Literally just called it. <laughs> the future of the Yakuza? <laughs> that was a pipe dream from the start. When the trash is full, the only thing left to do is take it out. Wow. <laughs> All this time they've put their trust in me. And they've had no clue. That's right. Remember, we know who he really is. We know that he's actually um, the third son, the half brother of Kasuga, and the half brother of the other antagonist from the original Like a Dragon game, who passed away at the end of that one. So they have no clue that that's who he really is. <clears throat> okay, I received a six dollar and sixty six cent tip from Dan the Man. Good evening, Dan the Man. Uh, good to have you here. Thank you so much for the support. I hope that you're enjoying the end game 
uh, of, of Yakuza Like a Dragon here. Excuse me. Of Like a Dragon Infinite Well. Sorry. I, I can't even... I can't get them not confused. Because there's so many names to these now that are all, I got them all twisted in my head. I know what one we're playing. We're basically playing Yakuza 8, right? You could call it Yakuza 8. You know, if they really wanted to screw you over, they actually, the next one, they would just call it Yakuza 9, and everyone would be like, what? That would really screw everybody up. Okay, thank you. Let's continue. It's almost tragic. Isn't it, Sawashiro? Oh, my God, look what he did to Sawashiro. I was hoping you'd live long enough to see it. The only future your kind have waiting. Oh, Dan the Man says he's not watching the gameplay, so you just stop by to, to support. Well, I appreciate that, Dan. Regardless, I appreciate that. He's gonna kill him. Wow, he's killing everyone. He's literally killing everybody right now. He's burning down the headquarters. Damn. The absolute madman! <laughs> Oh, I, see, I know that. Uh, Lucky Gremlin says the games in Japan were always called Like a Dragon. Yeah, they were never called Yakuza in Japan. So, technically, right, this is actually... They, they call it Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, but it's really Like a Dragon 8, right? And the last one, which was Yakuza Like a Dragon, was just Like a Dragon 7 in Japan. So... Uh, that should show, yeah, I'm sure that's what YouTube would rate, I'm sure. Uh-huh. Now then, it's been about a week since the incident. Could you tell us more about the people who attacked the Seiryu clan offices? Well, firstly, it should be said that this marks a historic shift for the Yakuza world. A few years ago, the Tojo clan and the Omi Alliance, for decades the Yakuza's two biggest players, mutually disbanded. Among those in the trade, this event was labeled the Great Dissolution. The largest remaining Yakuza group thereafter was the Seiryu clan. Who, of course, was a target. Well, of course, of is this attack. anime girl in the corner? Right. That's her. And? Seryu clan. And now, the same Seryu clan, the current frontrunner, has taken up the torch to disband every other group still in Japan. Yes, I see. That certainly does sound historic. But the real question is is it possible? You'd be fair to ask. At the very least, it does seem unrealistic. However, as a first step to seeing it through, the clan officially confirmed its disbandment to the police just the other day. So the torchbearers took initiative, set an example to the group still active. Correct. Additionally, the Seiryu clan also aims to reintegrate former members back into society. They mean to implement an occupation support program in partnership with a Hawaiian volunteer group, it seems. And in order to officiate things with the government, they've since reformed into a non-profit, naturally as the country can't just openly cooperate with organized crime of course while it may be a means to an end it does show how serious the Seiryu clan's taking things let's not forget they did disband it's also expected that the other yakuza groups across the country will follow suit leading this movement to now be called the second great disillusion now some out there won't take too kindly to this as you might have guessed and there's a spark the connection to the incident at the Seiryu headquarters. Ah, so those were the dissenters? They were responsible for the attack? Looking at those involved, yes, it seems highly likely. Speaking of, actually, the man pictured here is the one they call Kiryu. It's suspected he's the central figure of those opposing the Yakuza's disbandment. Really? And just who are we dealing with here? You'll recall I mentioned the Tojo clan earlier previously one of the largest Yakuza groups in Japan. He's one of its former chairmen. In short, a true blue Yakuza big shot. Rumor is, Kiryu wants anything but disbandment, which can only mean he wants the Yakuza back on top. I see. Well, regarding Kiryu, it's also said he has ties with the so-called hero of Yokohama, that being one Ichiban Kasuga. He too has been in the news of late after forcing former Yakuza to commit theft under the guise of reacclimating to society. Nice guy. And Kasuga's also a former Tojo clan member on top of that. As it stands, there's a good chance he's acting under Kiryu's command, a cog in his machine. Therefore, we're looking at a unique conflict. In one corner, the Siryu clan who seek to tear down tradition and forge a new path. 
and in the other, Kazuma Kiryu, who aims to revive the old ways for his own interests. A clash between new and old ideologies. So it seems. Thank you for your time. Couldn't be any more wrong. Following the attack, Great the fact checking there, bro. went into hiding. As citizens remain frightened, it is imperative that these assailants be found as soon as possible. Got word from the lookout. Doesn't seem like people know you're here. Sorry to trouble you like this, Chief. With all that's happened, this was the best place I could think of. Gang's back together. I'm not one to turn away women and children. That being said, I never thought I'd see you back here again. <laughs> you even brought friends this time. Our apologies, Chief. We really appreciate it. I wonder now if you can mix and match the parties into one, like, super party or something. Hmm. The world outside says you're a criminal. You've certainly got the face for it. But I'll tell you, I only ever trust what I see for myself. I've seen a lot. You're not the kind of man to shake things up. Still, <laughs> that mug's terrifying. <laughs> he heard you the first time. Thank you, sir. When the time comes, I'll be sure to repay you. Well... Y'all just kick back for now. I'll check in again soon. The chief really helped us out. Thanks for doing all this, Kasuga. Nah, I can't exactly say we're in the clear. But we're lucky to have a safe zone. Especially with the world watching. Yeah. And plus, we can't stay hidden forever. Now this is weird because I remember people had said... We will have a chance to do more content in Hawaii, so I wonder when that's going to happen because we're all in Japan for the finale. Hmm. Maybe that's moving quick. Once the Waste Disposal Project on Nele Island's in motion, countless Seiryu clan members will be exploited. We need to act before Ebina gets the chance. Good evening, Dentronics. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ebina? Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's been some time, Kasuga-san. Missed Japan, did we? Japan? Wait, how'd you know I was here? <laughs> and I thought you wouldn't be surprised. But no matter. I got reports from Dwight's men, just as you were off and on your way. Bryce and I are still business partners, yes. you know. Dwight's men called from the belly of the shark that ate them all. Yes. Anyhow, Kiryu-san's there with you too, yes? Kiryu-san? And what if he was? What do you want, Ebina? Kiryu-san? It's fine, Kasuga. With all those resources, Ebina probably knew we'd meet up. Glad you see how it works. And with that, I've got some great news for you. Our Yakuza rehabilitation program was approved. Just yesterday, the government gave us free reign to see it through. Well, isn't that nice? So what? You call us just to get your kicks or something? Of course. The least I can do is share the joy with others. <laughs> Goody. Goody. <laughs> Actually, there's one other thing. Thought perhaps you'd want to know. Huh? It seems I've caught myself a rat. And I must say, it's a big one. Kasuga-san should appreciate this. Captain... Did you really think I wouldn't notice his betrayal? I thought he killed him. Of all I thought people, he burned him in the building. Knowing his intentions, I let him roam free until the proverbial ball started rolling. In fact, Sawashiro-san was quite instrumental in gathering our colleagues. They poured in left and right. What do you plan to do with him? Are you still set on taking revenge against the Yakuza? I doubt you'd make this kind of display otherwise. Who would? Revenge? <laughs> Who's to say? My reason for this is simple. I could think of no better bait to reel you in. <laughs> you wouldn't leave him to die, would you? It's not in your character. Don't worry. About me. Shut up! 
Apologies. Now, if you all would please come Millennium to the Tower. Millennium Tower by the classic PM. showdown spot Tomorrow. in these games. Miss our little appointment, and I dispose of the rat. Wow. Plain and simple. Till then. Millennium Tower showdown. Let's do it. So, do we get a super team now? Like I said, do we have to combine the teams, or what happens here? Hostage. Guess he wants us out in the open. Yeah, we know the truth about his plans. That's the last thing he wants. This guy must be special. What with Ebby not holding him like that, right? It's our hero, I mean. No way you could just ignore that. I mean, we got the talent, don't we? So. Let's go save. We got a giant team now. No. Is it like nine people? Abby is not the only issue here. Not with what's happening overseas. Uh oh. There's another thing going on? Well. As just announced, the Seiryu clan, now known as Nonprofit Bleach Japan Rehabilitation Program and all, has been officially approved by the Japanese government. Ah, nice and legit. It is believed the government and Bleach Japan had been coordinating their plans behind closed doors for some time. Oh, what a surprise. A week prior to the announcement, a cruise ship carrying former Seiryu clan members left Japan for Honolulu. The ship arrived in the city just earlier today. On location, Hawaii's governor and Bryce Fairchild of partner organization Polykana welcomed the vice representative of Bleach Japan, Eiji Mitamura, as he stepped ashore. Oh, sneaky so bad. Eiji is now like the vice president He's of Bleach. Already there. The ship is scheduled to depart for Nelly Island tomorrow, where the program will officially get underway. They're bringing the Yakuza to the island tomorrow. Once they touch down, neither the state of Hawaii nor the Japanese government will care what happens next. They'll have wiped their hands clean, and that'll be that. And from there, they'll work as priceless slaves, dumping nuclear waste till the day they die. What a joke. We don't have a lot of time, not for Japan or Hawaii. What's the call? We split up. Might be dangerous. We can't let either one go. Hello, King Michael. Kazuga, about Ebina. Mind if I handle things out here? You go and stop Bryce in Hawaii. Huh? Any reason? Actually, I'd like a word with him. There's some speculation, of course, but it's about Ebina's origin. That's right, he didn't tell him yet. He didn't His tell Kasuga what? yet, did he? We can talk outside. Oh, ready. he's gonna tell him. Okay. Uh... You son wanted to talk to me about Ebina's past. So, I guess that's what we're doing. Excuse me. Kanai-san, Lonnie, you two aren't cold? I'm just fine, thank you. What about you, Lonnie? Yeah. I'm okay. Gotcha. I'm sure we can at least get you some hot water if you guys want. Letting us stay here is plenty. We made things no. difficult enough. Hey, no trouble. Even if it was, no worries. It's okay. Some to be trouble to people now and then. You two have done all you can. Nobody's blaming you for anything. Not even Madame Nele, I'll <laughs> bet. Maybe. I guess we could ask for a bit of grace. Definitely. That reminds me, Lonnie. We're in the home stretch now. <laughs> Once things settle down, we're hitting the town. I'm going to show you what this country's all about. Okay, thanks, Ichiban. Mm. What's up? What's up? Kiryu-san asked you to talk, didn't he? Better not keep him waiting. Thanks. I won't. I just wanted to thank you first. I really appreciate you guys taking care of him for all this time. Just doing my job as a head of the underworld, I'd be remiss not to. <laughs> Plus, knowing that I could help him even a little is quite the honor. That right? Yes. Anyway, thinking of nothing of it, go on and see Kiryu-san. Cool. They have little conversations with everybody. Ichiban. Hmm? You mentioned before there was already someone special in your life, right? Yeah, you mean that what I said back at Akane-san's? It's Sayako-san, isn't it? Huh? What? How'd you know? I mean, you keep looking over at her, it's pretty obvious. <sighs> Seriously? Man, I'm such a creep. Sup? Come on, you're really not gonna talk to her? <laughs> well, you only get one life, far as I know, it'd be a shame to waste it. <laughs> you know, I think Adachi-san told me the same thing. Thanks, Chi-chan, I'll give it another mm -hmm. shot. Well, there you go. Hmm. Primity, man. Japan, Japan's cold as hell. Well, it is the middle of the winter. Are you going to make it? I'll be fine. Besides, Lonnie seems like she's doing pretty well. Not good if a grown-up like me is out here complaining, you know? You could always ask the chief for some hot water. Seriously? For real? Good to know. I can barely feel my feet. 
Hey. Looks like we got Lonnie and Akane-san here safe and sound. Question is what we do from here on out. Okay. Yeah, I just gotta see things through now. Bryce Fairchild and Masataka Abina, huh? Picked a real pair this time around, didn't we? <laughs> sure did, but we'll put them in their place. Yeah. Without a doubt. All right. The fateful conversation. Oh, uh, I'm too close. <laughs> I did not mean to be this close. She's sniffing his arm. Look at this. Uh, hey, Sachan. Yeah? Oh, I just wanted to say thanks for sticking by Kiryu-san and stuff. Nope. Nah, it was nothing. I wanted to anyhow. Oh, right. Still, thank you. Mm-hmm. Didn't Kiryu-san want to talk to you? Yeah, he did. I'll catch you later. Wow, that was a fruitful conversation, huh? I stood so close. <laughs> I'm going to be close. Ooh. Oh. I can't talk to Zhao? Why not? Oh, that's bullshit. I can't speak with Zhao. <laughs> ah, shame our stay in Hawaii was so short. Yeah, sorry to ship you back home so quick. Still, it did help us get the girls' Japan side. Yes. Yes, an accomplishment to be sure. All that's left is the checkmate, so to speak. Okay. Right, Bryce and Abina. We won't let them get away with it. You know, I hate to say it, but I actually feel like this, the fact that he doesn't have a dialogue... Makes me feel like he was an addition later. Like, maybe he wasn't actually supposed to be in the game as a playable character. And then they added him in later. And now they didn't they didn't want to put extra dialogue in, so they just put him right there. Because that's a weird place for him to be and have no conversation, huh? Hmm. Good old Namba. The heart of the team. <sighs> Who'd have thought we'd be back here again, eh? Honestly, it's not a bad spot. Thanks. Right? By the way, Namba, thanks for looking after Kiryu-san. Oh, all I did was watch the guy. He didn't need anyone, especially not me. Yeah, right, man. He looks way better than he did in Hawaii. You guys must have gone above and beyond. <laughs> well, thanks, Sunhee and Sachan, then. <laughs> Fine, whatever you say. He's literally just sitting there whistling. So, I, that's what I think. He also hasn't really been part of the story at all in any way. Did you notice that, too? He really had nothing to do with it. I think that's what happened. Here you are. Want to talk? It'll probably take a while to explain. Are you good? We're good. Yes. I'm good. Let's hear it. Here we go. <clears throat> so, Abby and I, and I are brothers? Brother! If what Daigo said is true, then, yeah, you'd be half brothers. Assuming you're Arakawa's son, which, of course, still isn't clear. There's no black or white for a Yakuza. Only the boss makes that call. And you're sworn to go along with it. Mebina probably didn't care much for that line of thinking. That's my guess, at least. I hope there is a big fight coming soon, Jade. That'd the be Kawa good. family patriarch, that being Mebina's grandfather, forced the marriage between his daughter and Arakawa. He never once considered their feelings. And when Arakawa asserted his love for Akane-san, that same man tried to have them killed. Why was Hikawa angry? Because his daughter was shamed. Not even close. It's because he made the call, yet Arakawa made his own. For all the man had, Hikawa just couldn't let that go. And the result? Maybe not lost the father, while his mother could only go so far. He was born of the Yakuza, and that would follow him the rest of his life. This isn't anything special either. Mm -hmm. I've seen similar tragedies happen countless times. I even had the chance to change those old ways once or twice. I was the fourth head of the Tojo clan, but even then, I chose a different path. So that's it. You feel like you gotta step up and take responsibility. Ebina's made his choice. And I can't change it for him. Taking responsibility is already well out of the question. I know that. Regardless, I don't want him to stray past the point of no return. If he goes any further with this, that'll be it. So I'll give all I have to stop him. I have to. It's the only way I could ever make amends. I've been part of this since the beginning, after all. 
And with that, Kasuga, I'm leaving everything else to you. No matter what era you're in, there's always someone who breaks the rules and strays from the rest of the pack. People just like us, for what it's worth. Those people deserve a place to call home, a chance to keep going. Can I ask you to give that to them? Me? I'll take on the Yakuza's past. He's saying you're the future. But you... Pass the torch. I want you to handle their future. There you go. There it is. <sighs> well, tall order. And just like that, you realize what you're asking me to do here, right? Anyhow, you can count on me, Kiryu-san. You know, I joined Hello Work for all kinds of reasons. But now I see it's really just because I wanted the same future you do. Thank you, Kasuga. That said, I do have one thing I gotta ask of you. Hmm. Can I borrow twenty dollars? Don't go throwing your life away. <laughs> Ebbing has got to be stopped, and you may be short on time. But don't treat this like it's the end. Cure your son. You gotta live. You live every last second you can. When you go, you go out strong. I won't let you otherwise. Hmm. Once this is over, I'll need help cleaning up all this dissolution business. I mean, come on. You were a part of it too, right? Kasuga, I have something incredibly important I need to tell you at this very timely moment. Your fly's unzipped. Huh? Oh! Right. It's a deal. <laughs> <laughs> Just funny, you lecturing me. <laughs> well, you live this long, you're bound to hit a surprise or two. And, hey, I'll bet there's more to come, right? Right. I'm sure. <clears throat> yeah. No doubt. So now the question is, what's going to happen? Are they going to actually kill All off right. Kiryu by the end of the game or not? No. Because that's the that's what it felt like, right? This is supposed to be his swan song. That's why he's doing this bucket list and all this reminiscing with all these characters from his past. So, is, are they going to do it? Are they actually going to do it by the end of the game, or is it going to be a cop out? It's going to be another game with him. I've got a lecture for you. Yo, back then, just what did you tell Psycho? It must have really been something to set her off like that. Nah. <laughs> Uh, 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 How embarrassing. So, she's still pissed at me, huh? <laughs> you proposed to her, didn't you? <laughs> I did. Oh, no. And she turned me down hard. I even talked it out with Namba and Adachi-san and apologized to her a ton. Oh, she was being all short about it. Hey, come on. Don't be so pathetic. So Dark Gaming says if you had done Psycho's drink links, she would have talked to Kiryu throughout the game about that. And uh and that's why they're having this conversation. Okay. Oh, sure. Well, I I'd love some advice. I actually never mind. You don't seem like a, a ladies man. And what's that supposed to be? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I mean, you're a good dude. Well, give me some credit. <laughs> I've been around a few times. Wait, have you really? Sheesh, I, I'm sorry. I, I just didn't expect that. So what, you, you've actually proposed and stuff? <laughs> of course. For real? <laughs> what all you say? You know, for reference and stuff. When I proposed. Actually. 
I said I love you. And that was about it. I love you. It's simple. <gasps> no! Hmm? <laughs> Idiot! Why do I gotta be such a dumbass? Oh! Hey, what? Because if you think about it, that's literally the one thing he didn't say to Sayako. He said all this other shit, and he never said, I love you. Now that I'm thinking about it, right? He never did. Gun into you. Hey, sorry, guys. We got an emergency. <laughs> Oh, hi. The heck are you? You're from the Daidoji. Uh oh, okay. What are they doing here? You've really made a mess of it now, Kazuma Kiryu. Not only did you ignore Hanawa's standby orders, you went and made yourself famous. Last I checked, you're supposed to be dead. This is a serious breach of agreement. Uh -uh. But I don't really need to tell you that, do I? That all said, the truth of the matter is, you've done some great work. In addition to securing your target, Akane, you also protected the key figure in the case, this Lani girl. You even brought them safely to Japan. You've got an iron will, and you're a superb fighter. Furthermore, Ichiban Kasuga calls you a friend. No one else would have what it takes to pull this off. You make it sound so official, like all that was according to plan. No, far from it. But after everything, you've certainly made things convenient for us. Right now, it's not hard to imagine what you're all thinking. Stop the Seiryu from getting shipped off to Nele Island. Right? It's the same on our end. But didn't the Japanese government officiate that? Aren't you with them? You seem to misunderstand. As far as government goes, our allegiance lies with the citizens' liberal party. Communists! However, four years ago, with Ryo Aoki's failures, the CLP quickly lost trust and therefore the race. Which means the current government is our political enemy. <laughs> Sounds like you just want to drag them down. With them out, you guys might just find your way back in. Is that it? Make of it what you will. Now, you'll have to travel in secret, so we've got a private jet waiting. Just give us the word, and we'll get you there in no time flat. Ah. You're pretty cooperative, provided our interests align. Call it a politically informed decision. However, that's not the only reason we're helping you out. There's another. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Hanawa, you see, was tasked with submitting a daily report. These would usually include a brief summary, but on one rare occasion, he added his own impressions. They were about all of you. These people are not motivated by any self-interest. They'll risk their very lives, whatever the mission. They are to be treated with respect as equals. Do so, and we'll surely achieve our goals. His words. As it turned out, that would be his final report. <clears throat> you know, he rarely ever praised people. You should be thankful. <laughs> Well, we did play Like a Dragon Gaiden when they had a relationship. That's Kiryu and, and this Hanawa. And they basically, Kiryu repeatedly rescued him from the jaws of, like, death when he didn't have to. So they gained a mutual respect of each other. The private jet leaves tomorrow morning. Those headed to Hawaii be ready to go first thing. So Japan's future is on us. Didn't expect that, but hey, what's one more thing at this point? You scared yet? Not a chance. Tomi, Adachi-san, Chungi, Chichan, will you guys go back to Hawaii with me? No, hell no. Of course. Hate that place. Think that's pretty much a given. 
Nanba, Sunny, Saigo, Zhao. It's all come to this. Will you join me at Millennium Tower to see it through? <clears throat> We're with you all the way, Kiryu-san. Right. We settle things tomorrow, then. Make sure you get some rest. Huh. I like your spirit, pal. <laughs> and speaking of spirits, what say we enjoy a few, huh? Oh, great. Beer? Hey, wow. You sure about this? Chief? Why do you spend all their money on beer? <laughs> well, it ain't free. So come home safe, all right? You can pay me back then. Why not pay him now? We have tons of money. Chief. Pay him now. You got it. We'll definitely take you up on that. Lonnie's Don't like, can I have it? some? What's I that? Some soda and candy <laughs> just for you. What? No! Booze! Ridiculous! Ugh. You know? Oh, so Dentronic says, have I played all the games in the series? I never I never played Yakuza 1 or 2. I've seen a lot of and, and seen the plot of 3. I played 4, 5, 6, 7, and obviously 8. I played Dead Souls. I played uh, Ishin. I played Gaiden. And I feel like there was another one too, like a spinoff that I played, that I'm not even remembering right now, but I could be wrong. Another final night together before the finale of the game. <laughs> nah, but what are you trying to do, you asshole? I'm trying to get these two drunk. Weirdo. Oh, I also played Zero. You're right, I played Zero as well. I forgot about that. And I played the two Judgment games. No, no games, no board games. Come on, no cards, no singing, no, no karaoke. They should do karaoke together. I'm Hawaii bound tomorrow. Still before that, there's someone I gotta talk to. He said, Sachan is gonna go talk to Sayako one last time. She is. Good evening, Derek. Look. Uh, trouble sleeping? Uh, uh, what? Ichiban? Oh, sorry. Did I scare you? Oh, <laughs> no, it's fine. But Ichiban, shouldn't you be asleep? Yeah. I don't know if it's nerves or something, but I can't catch a wink. Uh, uh, oh, uh, yeah? So, uh, Sachan. Uh, yeah? Um, what's up? Well, uh, what's up? <laughs> so uh, awkward. Sachan. Socially awkward. If we both make it back safe. Uh, well, there's something I need to tell you. Y yeah? Uh, when the time comes, uh, will you hear me out? Uh, 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 Wait, what's this all about? Please, just a word. That's all I ask. That'll be the last shot of the game is that he says it to her and then the game ends. Okay. All right. Bet that's what's going to happen. Then we better both come back in one piece. <sighs> yeah. You be careful, Sachan. You too. Well, uh, oh, good night. Uh, good night. <laughs> okay. Now I can sleep. 
and a pigeon flying overhead drops a nice bomb right on his head. <laughs> <laughs> He's sleeping out under the stars. Still awake? Well, I am now. You're talking to me. Yes. Oh, it's been so long since I've been home, I guess I'm a little restless. I'm sorry, did I wake you? Are you cold? You keep farting. It's disgusting. I'm okay. Thank you, Akane. Hmm? For staying with me this whole time. Hmm. You're welcome. So, um, do you like Polycana? Hmm? I do. It's, well, it's a special place. Good night, Fox. Then, I think it's my turn to protect you. I'm going to keep your special place safe. Wow. Lonnie. I mean it. I know I can do that. So rest easy. I won't let anything happen to it. Thank you, Lonnie. That means the world. Okay? Let's both get some So sleep. Lonnie becomes the next protagonist okay. in the future. Good night. Could be. Lonnie grows up, becomes the next one. I, how much you want to bet? Thank you. And this series goes on for another 47 years. Got somewhere to be. Where's she going? I'm not running away. I'll be back by morning. So please, just give me some time. You running to see your family, maybe? Maybe that's what it is. I'm gonna try to make up with her family quickly. So that's it. Just like that. Yep. It's all gone. Former Tojo headquarters. Up in flames. Don't those kind of tattoos fade over time? Because how does this tattoo look like it's the day he got it? Right? All these years later. He should put his hair back. I was just gonna say he should put his hair back to its old style for the final fight. Forget this fucking hair dye he had the whole game. Just go back to old school here. Yes. Did he? Yeah. Old school here. Use back. Looks like you're about ready. Whoever's going to Hawaii, now's the time. Stay safe. It goes for them and you, Kiryu-san. Same to you. Till we meet again, Kasuga. Soundtrack is so goddamn good, man. <laughs> I love it. They got his classic suit back. <clears throat> nice. So now we get serious. So we're going back to Hawaii. We continue with the Hawaii team. Wow. An hour of cutscenes. Here you, son. I hope he's okay. We just do what we gotta do. Namba and the others are with him. He'll be fine. Right. The Bleach Japan ship has already left for Nelly Island, and it won't take long. We need to hurry after them. It may be, but we can't just rush in. Let's make sure we're ready. This fight's our responsibility. <clears throat> Here you and the others are counting on us to win. Right. Let's make them proud, then. <laughs> Geek General says, It must be that the tattoo artist used an old-fashioned technique that never fades. All right, so... This will be the last period of free time available in Hawaii. It's recommended you replenish healing items and save your game. To advance the story from here, you cannot complete any unresolved sub-stories or drink links. 
Cycle between day and night by uh, using the second floor of Revolve or Survive. You could use either one. Okay. And Yamai can now go into Dodoko Island. Wow. More costumes since there's extra costumes available? Oh, really? See, here's the thing. We are good to go when it comes to our build. I just bought those endgame items. We used them, you know, the weapons. We're good on the, 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 the jobs. We are good to go to finish the Hawaii team. We're definitely not ready for the Japan team. We gotta, we gotta spruce them up a bit. But, I'm good. Like, I think we're ready to go. We've done a lot of side content, particularly with Kasuga. Yes, there's these missions and conversations we didn't do. But I'm not feeling like we missed out on so much that it's such a huge deal that we didn't do them all. Um, I'm cool. You know, if you even take a look at the map, like, there's just not that much left unresolved, right? Like, we did a lot of it. So, I'm good to go um, when it comes to that. And I think we should just go right for it, right? They want us to go to the docks to go to Nele Island. The only thing is if there's a place where I can maybe stock up on the highest level healing items, but I don't know where that would be. Like, who sells the Toriners and all of that, right? Like, I don't know who does that. <clears throat> you know what we should do first? Let's actually go to uh, the job place and see if we can get new outfits for the finale. Because they did mention new outfits, right? Let's just see if there are any. Thank you, super fan, for a super chat. So we literally never finished any of these. Yeah, look. Oh, we didn't do a single one. Just too many, in my opinion. Um. What matches my personality? So, what new outfits are available? Is it gonna say? Is it the Yakuza Zero outfits? Like, what was added? Uh. Oh, look. The Infinite Wealth Kazuma Kiryu outfit, he can wear it now. So he can look like Kazuma from this. Anything else new or that's it? I guess that's it. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll stick oh, with yeah, the, what we were doing, cool. yeah. I guess that's it. Like, probably no one else has any new ones, right? A sense of style is important. Oh, this wait a minute. Didn't we change his job? Oh, he's action star now, yeah. Oh, this is Yakuza 6 outfit. Oh, I like that. I can see the I'm gonna put his Yakuza 6 outfit on. Okay. Oh, does it come in my size? Nothing new for him. Nope. Now Nothing new for him. Is macho. Okay. Always so hard to choose. Short hair. Wait, are there long hair and short hair versions? They all say short hair. Look, they literally all say short hair, short hair. Huh. I'll just what keep am it. I, yeah, I guess there's nothing new. I, I guess it was just on. like maybe one or two new outfits. That's it. Everything looks the same. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, nothing works for me. All right. I think we're good. I think we're good. We did f finish Drink Links. Didn't we finish one? Maybe we didn't. But we did get pretty far in them. The problem is they take too long. I could go do the drink links right now, and this would be another two streams. Seriously, there's like a million cutscenes. It take forever. <laughs> I can finish the game, right? I see. So her default was braided hair. Now her hairs are short. She cut her braided hair, so her outfits changed. Okay, got it. Yeah, I think we're good to go, man. I really feel like we're 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 good to head into the end game. I do feel like the Kiryu stuff may be more important to do, but I think we're good with the Japan team. You know. I feel like we're so I think what we should do is save and uh and split the part and come back and maybe even if we can beat the Hawaii side finale right now. I don't know how long it takes, but see we do that and then the next couple streams that we do could be focused on the Japan team, which needs to level up, which needs to get better jobs, better weapons, and then head into their end game, you know? So Alright guys, good stuff. Thanks for being here. I hope you're enjoying. I'll see you in the next part when it looks like it may be Sayonara to the Hawaiian team and Kasuga. We'll see. All right.